Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Lego The Incredibles. And today, we have ourselves, oh, this guy's getting pulled over. Oh, he's in so much trouble, apparently not. Uh, never mind. Uh, we have a lot of stuff we're going over. First off, if you didn't see the last episode, we have completed everything in the overworld. As far as I can tell, absolutely everything. So, there's only one thing we can really do, and that's going back through some of these levels and basically getting done what we need to get done, which, at the most part, is really just getting, um, the kit's done with the magnifying glass character. I just couldn't do that previously. So I wanna be rushing through these levels, trying to find exactly just that, and just going over everything, and then maybe we'll be 100% done with the game. We'll find out together. Let's get started. Okay, so our first kit of the day, you can already see it on the screen right over there. That's why we have Russell. We're just gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, There should be, yep, right here. So Russell's is gonna follow the tracks. It feels so good to finally be able to get this done. There are so many just kits that are just this. I think there's one kit in the game that isn't a tracking one um, that we'll be doing later in this level, and then the rest of them are kits. So should be just right about here. It can even it even tells you there's this. Wait, what happened? Wait, what? 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 It said press circle. I pressed circle and he stopped. Come on, that's not cool. Let's try that again, I suppose. Wow, I've already gotten five million studs out of this level. What do you know? Isn't that insane? I love that. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. You can do it, Russell. I believe in you. I just need you to actually do it this time instead of canceling. Uh, no, it's, it says like, go here, press circle. I did that last time and you canceled. There we go. Oh, those kit pieces. I, don't, I hope it's not that difficult every time. And boom, that is kit nine out of 10. So I'm gonna go and find the next one, which is a little bit later in this level. So I guess that red brick also tells me the kits I missed. I don't know how I missed this one. I actually think that when I played this level the first time, okay, these guys are flapping. Come on, we know. But when I first played through this level, I actually didn't have a character that could see in the dark, but now I do, so it's totally fine. I mean, I have plenty of characters that can see in the dark at this point. Underminer, the minor goons. I feel like Jack-Jack can see in the dark because of his firepower, but maybe not. I mean, probably, I just didn't think about it, so I didn't even realize this was something we could go into probably as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and pull up uh, the underminer should be over this way. And let's have him charge on in there. Go on, buddy, you got it. And boom, kit number 10. So that's gonna be a golden brick, three out of three, and our 10th kit. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go ahead and, as always, exit to the city, save and exit, and see what our rewards are. Hopefully some good stuff. I can only hope, right? So there we go, undermined, completed fully, 100% gold brick awarded. We got ourselves that, but then more importantly, we do get this little underminer car, which is really cool, seven out of 12 vehicles for this, um, and the story will continue. So we're gonna move on to the next level, where hopefully we can find more stuff to complete. All right, so this one's really easy. All I gotta do is like break all this stuff and then find the search spot. Oh, the search spot's over here. Ah, this is so nice. I like the auto finder. I sort of wish I found this first and then did all these levels, but hey, this isn't so bad of a second, you know, attempt. So let's get on over this way and start digging. And inside this cabinet, we got ourselves a kit. Yeah, okay, it was actually in the, the, the washing machine. Okay, wash it up. And there's one piece, there's two pieces, there's a couple more pieces, come on, keep. Popping them out. And this is the only kit we need to get for this level. I think almost every single kit from here on out is like one kit per level that we are missing one. So there's that one done, uh, 10 out of 10. So we're gonna exit to the city, save and exit again, and see what our reward is this time. And when we're done with all this, I'm gonna go ahead and buy all those vehicles, check them all out, all that kind of cool stuff, and you know, see what else I need to do. Like, I don't know if I have, I mean, I guess I should be unlocking new characters for doing that as well. I sort of pressed X so soon, too soon. That's okay, because like I said, we'll be checking all the vehicles out at the end. All right, on to the next level. All right, so let's go ahead and figure this one out. We're on this level now. I am really getting through. Watch out, I'm being attacked. Hold on, I just need to quickly, before you beat me up, can I just get a good, you know, hit in here? I don't really care about anything else. They're just trying to beat me up. Russell is so powerful. Doesn't even need to worry about this. There we go, three out of three. Oh, that's beautiful. 10 out of 10, awesome. All right then, so let's exit to the city. That's all I need to do in this level. I just, like most of this episode for me has been just waiting through loading screens. I mean, it might not be, like it's probably only a couple minutes for you guys, but it's taking a while for me. Okay, so we'll wait for this one. As you can see, it is just a truck. We just need the little headlights or something there. All right, so there's another one done. Let's move on to the next level. All right, so here it is. Let's hope that everything goes well with this. Um, I think what we're trying to find is the little spinny lever so that we can get into there. So yeah, this one was a little tough to get to, a little bit more work. Okay, we gotta dig this up. There it is. 
Now let's go ahead and put the wheel on there and start spinning it and open up this door. Yeah, good job, good job. So what are we gonna do with this? We just have to run into it. Oh no, the kit just shows up. Perfect, so that is three out of three for this area, so that means we are good. We can uh, go ahead and check out the next level. The first let's exit the city, save and exit. And I think we still have like a good couple kits left to go. So lots of work ahead of us. But that's actually Incredibles 2 done. We've now gotten every kit and gold brick in Incredibles 2, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, we got a cool boat, micro hydro liner, and a new character, whatever it might be. We'll find out later. All right, so here it is. Let's go ahead and switch to Russell and ignore all of these enemies. <laughs> every single one of them, because I don't care. All I need is this one, Kid, I think this is the only kid in this level. Of course, now we're in Incredibles 1. Oh my gosh, I messed it up. Why does that happen? It told me to press circle, I press circle. Can I just like sort of ignore all that and just walk this way? Yeah, that works, okay, cool. <laughs> all right, ready, here. No, what the heck? Is it because of this stuff in the way? That would be super lame, but at this point, I'm not doubting, where's Syndrome? Get this stuff out of the way, or just like explode it, or whatever, I don't care. It makes the rock tower. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. I just want to get this. Oh my gosh, it's not cool. <laughs> All right, so let's try to make our way back over and just try to follow it until it tells me to press circle, right? Right here, okay, there it goes. Yeah, hey, okay, so there's three out of three. Gold brick awarded, so we're gonna exit to the city, save and exit, and um, see what else we get. It looks like that's the Manasan Island completed. Which vehicle are we getting? We're about to find out, ooh, some kind of like micro axiom, very cool. So it looks like we have one more vehicle left to get it says, but I'm pretty sure there's more than one level we have to complete, I guess we're about to find out. Okay, so there are two kids left to find on this island, the first one is gonna be here. Looks like we got ourselves our chicken friend, so we'll use him to track down this first one. And then there's another one up there, and they're both in this area, so it's super duper exciting. We'll just get them, and then we'll be done. We have gotten every kit in the game for real. Dang it, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to press circle. I guess I pressed the wrong button. So let's try that again. Start looking down the pathway. Uh, I think it's sort of broken. Um, okay, now it's working, now it's working. Very good. All I need to do is go there and press circle. Don't know how I mess this up so often. Uh, there we go, nine out of 10. So now we gotta switch over to you, turn you into a flying character like Downburst, sure, why not, I don't care who. And can we even get over there right now? Is that something we can do? Or will it sort of limit me? I mean, I guess I sort of can cheat my way through half of this level, isn't that insane? Well, let me get through this though. It does, holy cow, that's crazy! You can literally just go through the entire level just by flying through, I love it. Uh, so, I don't know where, oh, it's over this way, okay. So, this is the last kit in the game. All we gotta do is walk over from left to right and dig up that kit, and we will be done with all of this stuff, all this nonsense of following patterns on the floor. You know, it's, it's funny, is that like, with this finder, we know the kit is there, we just can't find it. Kid, kit it up, we got it, 10 out of 10. I am so happy right now. So let's go ahead and exit to the city. We have gotten all those kits. We're at 94.2%, so like, what more can we really do? It's probably just buying a lot of stuff above par. Very cool. So if you take a look here, we have something, I guess some kind of like flying vehicle. It is the Micro Velocipod, and that is so amazing. I am so happy to get back to the overworld. Okay, so here we are back here, and let's double check the pause menu. As you can see now, we have a full thing of everything except for a couple more characters, which we're gonna open up with character packs, and then like 35, no, 25 more vehicles. So we gotta figure that out. We have 2.5 billion studs, now. I don't know where all those studs came in from. But I don't even care at the moment. What we gotta do, as you can see, is open these up. I guess we got a bunch of silver. We're gonna start with like red, silver, gold, because that's usually the order it goes. So first, let's open up the red one. As you can see, we get, oh yeah, it's, it's uh, his boss. I forgot his name, Gilbert Huff. All right, well, well there's that guy, um, <laughs> way over there. So we got a lot of characters open up. I know I didn't really go over them at the end of the last episode, so I'm gonna be doing that today. I'm gonna be going over each character that we've unlocked recently to sort of figure it out. Um, I don't know if I wanna do an entire episode. We got Winston Dever, I like him. Uh, he's from Incredibles 2, but um, 
Yeah, I don't know if I want to go through, like, next episode, if I want to do an entire episode really just going over every single character. Let me know if that's something you want to see. This might be the last episode of the series. I'm not sure. Who is this? This is Stormicide. That's a pretty interesting name. I like it. But I will definitely go through all the new characters we haven't really checked out too much. And maybe we'll just go through, like, every single character at some point. Now, these are pretty expensive at 100,000 studs each, but seeing how we have billions of studs, it's not really a big scratch on our wallet. As you can see, we have Filinge. <laughs> all right, well, here, there's him. I think this is gonna be all the characters. I think we're gonna have everything fully done. How exciting will that be? We got this one, this silver one has... Oh, it's another Violet. Okay, that's Violet Parr, just like in her everyday clothes. Interesting hairpiece there, to be honest with you. Um, so that one's done. Now we have number five. We might get a new Bob Parr soon. Uh, oh, who is this? This guy looks interesting. Cliffhanger. I like it. Some fun names in this. There's another superhero unlocked. Okay. And then we have four more silver ones. This one's going to be, there he is! It's like everyday clothing, Mr. Incredible Bob Parr, Bob Parr pajamas. Okay, I guess, yeah, I thought it was like a striped collar shirt. I guess it's a, I guess it's pajamas. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. All right, so we have three more remaining. What is in this one? We have another superhero. He looks like he has something with his vision. Icebreaker, I guess not, he breaks ice. <laughs> he has some cold powers. Maybe he's like Frozone in that way, interesting. Um, and then we have two more. Will be another superhero, I have to guess. <laughs> what in the world is this guy? He has like a rocket launcher, Hypershock. I like that. I, I want to sort of check him out. Maybe he could fly with that. Maybe it's like a jet pack. Okay, one last one for the silver packets, and then we'll move on to the final two gold ones. What do we got? Whoa, it's it's the, it's the dude. I forget his name. It's Screech. Nice, I've totally forgot about this guy. He's actually in Incredibles too. Cool that we actually got him. And now if we move on over to the final two, no, no, wrong thing. Final two gold packets right here, 250,000 studs for each of them, not a big problem. We get whoever this guy is. Uh, it's Fyronic, like ironic and fire combined. Fyronic, wow. We, I think we're about to get our last character of the game. I sure hope so, because if not, I don't know what else we're gonna do. But uh, look at that. There he is, 119, it's Meta Man. So all 119 characters have now been collected. So cool, which means we got one last thing left to do, and that is going to be checking out the vehicles. Now we have a couple of these. Some of these we have to buy, all of which we've you know unlocked in some capacity. But first off, we have Elastigirl's bike. I wanna sort of check them all out. So like first off, we have this one. I might not ride them around, because that would just take too much time. But that's Elastigirl's bike from Incredibles 2. We then have the Incredibile, which of course is Mr. Incredible's super awesome um, thing. I like this, we can make it seem like we just have this really cool garage. Uh, Bob's car, you know, his typical normal car that he like sort of destroyed in the first movie. There we go. And then we have Bob's flash car, which I don't really know what this is. I guess it's just maybe just, whoa, whoa, whoa what happened? What happened to the, oh, if I spawn in too much, some things disappear, I suppose, the motorcycle went away. We got the station wagon, I guess for the whole family. Yeah, just some of them will just disappear. So there's the station wagon. Then we have the police vehicle, if we wanna go around and chase some bad guys and be pretty lawful about it. We got that one. We also have the Chrysler? Huh, and I think that's supposed to be like, a play on a brand name that they don't have. I think Chrysler, like, isn't that a type of car? We got the Garter. Let's check out the Garter. Uh, not a bad one. I wish we could just spawn in an indefinite amount of cars. That'd be pretty cool. Um, we have the Hot Rod. Oh, this one's cool. So spending a tiny bit of our billions and billions of studs really isn't that big of a deal. And then we have one last one on this top row. This is the Lynx. Oh, this one looks fast. I like it. Put that one there. A lot of cool looking cars. We have the Tall Top. This one isn't so bad, it's like a convertible. Looks like a nice vehicle on a sunny day. We have the Merv. Merv is right here. <laughs> That's an interesting one for sure. It just seems like an average car to me, I don't know. Um, I don't know too much about cars. Mobster, I guess this one's for the evil guys. 
That, that one's interesting. It's all black, I guess, so it can hide in the night. We got the sports coupe. This one must go fast, right? Whenever there's a sports car, it's supposed to go super duper quick. So you can only have a maximum of three cars out at a time. We got the old pickup. Old reliable, right there. I like that one. That one's pretty cool. Has the pickup in the back. We got the tractor. 75,000 studs. That's a lot more expensive than some of the other ones. $75,000 for a tractor. Okay. I mean, I don't think they, you know, translate to like United States dollars, but you never know. Flatbed truck. Oh, this one's pretty cool. I like that. Put some real cargo in the back. We got a gang van, I guess, for gangs of villains. That's pretty nice, though. I mean, it's pretty roomy. Nothing better than a roomy vehicle. Okay, so we got two more left. Oh, this is cool. We got the bulldozer. Wow, I wonder, can we ride this around? Can we actually activate the bulldozing part of it? Or is that just for show? I sort of need to find out now. Um, you're pretty roomy. Oh no, I'm sorry. It doesn't look like there's a way. Yeah, it really doesn't look like there's a way. That's a shame, that'd be really cool. Okay, what else do we got going on? Uh, we have the toxic tanker. So we've seen some of these in like crime waves and stuff. The tankers that'll be like spilled over, there'll be like toxic goo all over the place. But uh, we also have a bus. A straight up bus, look at this thing. It is huge, I mean, as a bus should be. This is cool, I, I like how you can just spawn in whatever vehicle you want, just have fun with it. We got a school bus, my least favorite kind of bus, because you know, it means you're going to school. I mean, school's important, I just don't wanna, I don't wanna do it, but you gotta. Fire engine, what do we got? Yeah, that's actually pretty cool, can we go on the top? Oh, no, no, I only wanna switch characters. Oh, there we go, yeah, my favorite feature. I love it. <laughs> water down the buses. Oh no, this is, oh gosh. That's very powerful water. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. Um, we have ourselves the baseball bat. Look at this thing. That is weird. It's just a baseball bat car. Don't know what to say about that. We got ourselves a speed boat. I mean, we're not on water, so we won't be able to place it. But uh, yeah, there's there's some boats in here as well. It's not just you know land vehicles. We got the uh, tugboat. Same thing as with this one. I think I can. I think I can. Right? Uh, maybe we'll go to the water in places if I remember. I'll probably forget because I forget most things. We got some air vehicles as well. The police helicopter. This thing is pretty big. It's actually not expecting it to be so large. I love that. That's really cool. Moving on over this way, we have what in the world is this? This is the velocicopter. This might be my favorite air vehicle we've seen. You know, we've only seen a couple. That thing looks super cool. Key to the city, trophy earned. I don't know what we did for that. Oh, we bought them all, okay. So now we just have some of the uh, level ones. So we have the micro up house, which might be one of my favorites. I sort of want to see, can you ride this? Like, yeah, I guess you just hop on the top. Wee! <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Um, and then let's check out all the other ones as well. We have the micro fire engine right next to the big one. Oh, darn it, it disappeared. Oh well. Um, we also have the Micro Axiom, which this might be another flying vehicle. It looks like it to me. Um, yeah, look at this thing. Oh, that's really cool, actually, I like that. I think that's like just one of uh, Syndrome's things. We have the Micro Syndrome. This is his vehicle. We've actually ridden that around before. Um, we got a couple more left. The, the micro Velocipod. Sort of the similar deal. I think that uh, somebody in a Velocipod chased uh, Dash and Violet around in the first movie. Got a micro Pizza Planet truck because you always gotta have some kind of Pizza Planet reference. It'd be cool if they had the full on Pizza Planet truck. Sort of a shame that they didn't. Um, we got the micro tunneler, of course, from the Underminer. And that thing just tunnels on through. Pretty much, will, pretty much will destroy anything it touches. At least from the front. If it hits it from the side, not really that much. Micro Train of Thought, which of course I think is from um, Inside Out. Maybe not though. So there are some Pixar references, just not many. We got the Micro Arrowcade, or Aerosad, something like that. This is like basically like a jetpack. This is super cool. Super duper cool. Looks like it's fast too, which I like. So, um, I got a couple more left. What in the world is this thing? The Micro Mike's car? Mike? Like Mike Wazowski, Mike? I don't know, did Mike have a car? Micro Incredibile, so we got that right there. It looks more like a truck than it does a car. I don't know, 
but still looks pretty cool. And then finally, the last vehicle is the Micro Hydro Liner, which seems to be a water vehicle, so I can't place it, but you get the idea. So that is every single vehicle in the game. At this rate, what really is there more left to do? I don't know. We'll check out some of the new characters we've unlocked, like uh, Bob Parr with his pajamas. Um, we have Violet Parr. She seems to have all the same abilities as, you know, Normal Violet and normal Bob Parr, same thing. Cliffhanger, he can sort of shoot little hook shots. We have, uh, who else? Looks like this guy, oh yeah, this was uh, Phyronic. He can fly as fire. Um, Gilbert Huff can't really do anything, <laughs> except for yell at people and be mean. Uh, Hypershock can break bricks, I guess, and he can also fly. Uh, Icebreaker has power of water and ice. Meta Man can fly, break bricks, and is invincible. Pretty cool, he's super strong. Uh, Stormicide has the power of water and flying. Uh, we already know Screech can fly and can scream really loud. That's why he's a Screech. Flange can fly and has the, the loud scream as well. And finally, we have Winston Dever, which can just throw things, I guess. All right then, very, very cool stuff. At this rate, I might double check the achievement list to see if there's anything else in the game I can do, but beyond that, I think we are all wrapped up. So I just took a look at the trophy list, and honestly, I'm not too interested in getting all of the trophies. That key to the city trophy was for getting 100% in the game, but there are some extra trophies that are sort of like little minute things I don't really care too much to do. Things like, oh, complete this level in under nine minutes, or defeat this guy without taking any damage, and stuff like that in the story mode levels again. And I just, right now, I'm not really in the mood to do that. If enough people request it, maybe someday I can go back and do that. But for right now, the game is technically 100% complete outside of the trophies, which don't even count towards 100% completion. So I am so excited to say that we have finally wrapped up LEGO The Incredibles. This has been such a fun series and it's been fun 100% a LEGO game. Haven't done this in a long while since uh, LEGO Jurassic World back in like 2014. So a lot has changed since then. And I'm gonna be trying to 100% the next LEGO game, which is LEGO DC Comics Villains or whatever it's called. That's coming up in a couple months, so stay tuned. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Lego The Incredibles. If you watched this video, make sure you comment completed zebra. So now you've watched to the end of the URA Zebra Task Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.